Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba' It's not sufficient for us to say on our tongues that we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to say that faith is only contained in our hearts. And something that verifies for us this very important point and shows us also that faith in Iman and being a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a responsibility and that you will be tested. And this is made clear for us in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Alif Lam Mim Ahasab al-Nasu an yutruku an yakulu amanna wa hum la yuftanun wa lakad fattanna al-ladhina min qablihim falayalamanna Allahu al-ladhina sadaku Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, He says, Alif Lam Mim. Do the people think that they will be left alone to say that they believe and not be tested? Verily, we have tested those who came before. And then Allah. Allah knows those who are truthful and He knows those who are liars. al kadhibin What we learn from this is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test Ahl Iman. The people of faith, they will be tested. You as an individual who believe in Allah and believe in his angels and believe in his books and believe in his messengers alayhim afdal salatu wassalam and believe in the day of judgment and believe in the divine destiny the good and the evil of it you'll be tested it's not sufficient to say that on your tongue and it's not sufficient even if you have that in your heart don't think you you won't be tested you'll be tested in your faith as we see all around us as a community we're tested as individuals were tested with our Iman. And through those tests, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purifies us through those tests and those trials and tribulations. And at the same time, Allah makes it clear those who are liars and those who are truthful. So when you're tested, if you make it through that test and you don't disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you don't go beyond the bounds but you hold on to your iman, you hold on to your faith, then you'll be successful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deliver you from that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily with every difficulty there is relief, verily with every difficulty there is belief. So every difficult test and trial and tribulation that you experience, there will come a time for relief. But it's making it to that time. It's being of Ahlul Iman, being from Ahlul Sunnah, being from Ahlul Ikhlas with Thabat. This is what we all strive to be from. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us, to make it through our various trials and tribulations, and bless us all to be from Ahlul Iman. وأهل إخلاص وأهل إثبات على السنة وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد